Hi, Padme. I wanted to give you a cool factoid thing, or Jane. You know, you're always like, hey, you know, hoobal hoobal about it, right? All right, well, and it's also like making fun of Penn and Teller. Because bullshit. Hey, bullshit. Now, I'll grant you that crazy people who put too much faith in Nostradamus while keeping their trap shut about treason are crazy. However... Did you know that, like, long, long time ago, right about, like, roundabout when the Christians were getting the actual name Christians, like, from that one place, and, like, it was being disseminated, and, like, Nero about it, you know, the Antichrist 666 guy from Bookie Revelation, that decodes out to the word Nero, if you do the Roman numerals one verbatim, it's not that long. But then Ostradamus, who was a respected doctor of the day, he even knew to burn bodies, he did his best. He did predict, like, like it or not, that the uh, guy was going to die. And he died, and a couple others, and he wrote these quatrains, quatrains. He just felt compelled he had to. <laughs> and he was quite Christian. He, he, with the Pope and the thing, he was a Christian. So he's French. He was a Christian. It was like the medieval time. <laughs> so he had this prediction about the second Antichrist, right? The second supposed Antichrist. And he predicted that the name or whatever, like whatever, was by like the river uh, Hisler. And did you know that Hitler grew up by the river Hisler? And he won't even give him that because so what? That's not impressive. But there's no way Isaiah could have said like, "Sut, Sut what is the guy's name? The one Messiah, the who like the, the Persian king who comes in the Book of Daniel, Cyrus, or whatever, the Messiah, Cyrus." Of the Jews that'll lead them back, back to the Holy Land. But yet verbatim, and it even records how like they showed Isaiah to him to kiss his ass, and no, you're gonna be a Messiah to us. But the 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 Messiah, well, that's a different one. That's verbatim, Jesus. Of the order of Melchizedek, you know, Moshiach, Moshiach, verbatim. It's not that loser. It's Jesus. You know, Christos. And which which goes full circle, because what does Christos mean if not also Messiah, just like Moshiach? <laughs> Nothing. It's just like the the Roman one or whatever, or whatever the language was. It was the Greek, it was a wound. I don't know. It's either Latin or Greek. Wherever, like in the book of Acts, it records it verbatim. This is when we first started even hearing Christians. They started first started calling us Christians because like Messiah, but in their language. And we're the Messiah people. You know, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus the Messiah. Jesus Christos. Jesus Christos. Whatever. Jesus or whatever. <laughs> you know, Benny Jerusalem or whatever. Nah, at any rate. <laughs> it's verbatim. But about this, this guy. Now, he calls bullshit, right? Because he takes it out on him. Because that supports, like, prophecy. And that's nuts, right? Because only the Jew one can do that. But then, like, no, he can't. I'm an atheist. Isaiah couldn't do that. Jeremiah couldn't do that. There's no way that 70 years after, like, May 14th of 48, the 70 years was up, right? There's no way that's true, right? Except if it is. Because it technically could actually be one of the notable dates where the country goes back to the Jews after all that time. <laughs> after the last debacle with the diaspora. And then there's something about Nazis. About descendants that have, that have been scattered. <laughs> right? So. But, I mean, then it would be May 14th of 19, uh, no, 2021. But, you know, 2018, actually. And at that point, then this Lebanon is supposed to be bad about it again. With like the Beirut and the Tyre or whatever. And then Samaria is going to rain or, or something. No. <laughs> nope. You know how many battles have been fought at Megiddo? So I wonder if there's another like Megiddo. Armageddon has happened many times. Do you know that? Armageddon is just the name of a place called Megiddo. Where is it? It's in Tinseltown itself. 
Israel. The big lop of crap. <laughs> That's like the size of New Jersey. Not impressive because Yahweh's going to pick like a meager people to put his flag and remind every one of these big shots, just try it. Let's go with Jupiter. Sometimes they probably even did invoke like, I usually don't say Yahweh, but you know, like, hey, boss. <laughs> hey, boss. Uh, because they don't, they don't, they don't identify as being Hebrew. They know they're glad they're not. They know about the Exodus one, but they know about Jews. So Zeus, Jupiter, they all know about the Exodus one. But you cannot square the Yahweh cult with with the pantheon of polytheist gods. It's one or the other. They're all familiar with the concept of like you know Ra, and then you know maybe this angel of the Lord. You know Amun Ra. <laughs> Yeah, that's why, like, Ishmael's mom knew right who he was. She was Egyptian. They shit on, like, you know, or they think because they know that the word does derive from that, it's not chicken and the egg where, well, technically it means verily and uh, may it be so. And it derives from, like, uh, the word amen. (laughs) You know, the word amen is for them. And that's our people. But where did they come up with that? Off the top of their heads? Well, technically, they might have been in Egypt, but, like, you know, when they, like, developed their writing, but they wouldn't have, like, known about the word, you know, I'm in, you know, with the toot in common and the crab. And God is God of all, not just the Jews who aren't even a thing uh, sometimes, especially in Abraham's day when forbade him. But then they tracked their lineage to Ur because he was polytheist and came from Ur. With Sarai or whatever. You know, Abram, Abram. But he did his best for the one God when he realized, no, it's definitely that. Because even then, like, people knew about Boz. <laughs> God. They knew about God. Some even called him Ra. He's different. <laughs> then there's the angel of God. You know, I'm in Ra. Bro. And that's it. Then there's these spirits about it. And they can't manage. So in, like, Exodus, right? They both know they're talking about the same Ra, the same God. Moses just says, no, nope, nope, he's Yahweh, and he's with me, and let my people go. Because even the Egyptians from Joseph know all about, you know, the one God, Ra. They love that about him. They squared it. Well, we, we, we have Ra at the top because, you know, the most high. Yes, exactly, but he's God. And then these ones are just like the, like, you know, uh, what, what do you call them? Like the semi-gods or whatever? Like the not-quite-gods or whatever? The demigods or the lesser-gods or whatever? We know they're just spirits. That's, that some of them are fucking demons, and then the other ones are angels. And that's our... But they like, there's so many people worshiping so much stuff, and they got a system system, and Pharaoh's supposedly be connected to God or whatever. Sometimes, like, yeah, absolutely. He was, they were blessed. They were nice. They were, I mean, they were in Tinseltown, I don't know, with a little tink, 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 tink. Oh, I make you such a deal. You know, that's the Jews. I mean, it's even some of the Ishmaelites. I bet. I mean, it must be different. The Arabians and their brothers, uh, <laughs> Isaac and Ishmael. <laughs> they have no empathy. They don't, they don't try to like faith it and go from there. It can't be monotheism verbatim. But like big shots like to hide that or even that there's tornadoes about it or even that they know about Bubble Boy and like do fish tricks. Stupid cell phone trick. Gone. Snap, snap. And that's what it is. When they don't want to mention about like idolatry or how like even if not them, like these other people, but they're so atheists and they got to like Whatever they couldn't quite do in 1984, or was it 82, or 80, or 81, or whatever. somewhere around there, the Ghostbusters era, whatever they couldn't do, because too many people were theists, they figured if they took 40 years to just, like, be scientific about how they go about converting them to morally casual atheists, then they can blitzkrieg them with, look how cool we will always were, and everybody knows it's, uh... It's the uh, idol, not the uh, Ark of the Covenant, uh, or maybe it is the Covenant of the Ark itself, the walkie-talkie, and not the invisible one who dwells between the cherub and doesn't once need the temple, or like, you know, he even says, 
Have you ever had Isaiah about him? I digress. But, I mean, here a little, there a little, right? Line upon line, precept upon precept. This is not your native tongue. This is not a love song, Reed. He don't speak in mother tongue. You know, the... Uh, bang, 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 we're so fake, oh my God, so fake, just like the Christians. Oh, Jesus, I want, you know, I'm not, I'm so worried about the Jew who's gonna go to hell, but not me, let alone. So... Some of us, our hairline's receding. It's not that bad, actually. Look, and that's like pulled back. I'm lucky about it. See, Lance Rizzo, it's not so much. But I got to worry about that emotional damage. Like, you know, it's receding and I'm married already. And um, she doesn't care, but me. You know. But then, you know, this is Lance. You know, Lance is going to get the papers or whatever for like, uh, you know, uh, Howard Stern, Stern, Alan Richards, whatever. And Craig and Howard Stern, Howard Stern. And hell, the wife loves bulldogs and is best friends with my godmother. Who Stern's went in verbatim. Hey, that's convenient. They don't know about Bubble Boy, gong gong, but they know Elaine Pasquin verbatim. And I can't say her name lest she sue me, but I'm not slandering her. All I said, actually, was that verbatim. You told me that, stupid. I can say it, and you can't arrest me for it. You bitch. You can't even arrest me for calling you a bitch. Godmother. Don't die in darkness now. Gong, 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 gong. Atoms, gong, 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 gong. Yeah! That's you, Auntie. Then there's Edgar Casey about it. Now him, he was mighty. That's a tale for another time, Pen, because I call bullshit on its atheism. And only the Bible is a good. But me, I'm nice and have a cell phone. Right, Alain? Right, Wesley? Am I right, Baba Booey? Baba Booey, Baba Booey. But a ba booey, but 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 I bet it's verbatim. Gong. Hey, Ben. Hey, Wesley. I'm sorry they don't let us communicate. I love you too, and none of them. How about that? Because they hate my guts. And they, you know, they can't even call. And the only two who want to are you two verbatim because, well, I'm your mighty great cousin about it. Verbatim. But I'm more of an uncle, but they won't let you call me uncle. But, you know, cousin Tim is appropriate because it's like your great cousin. So cousin Tim. But I'm not cousin Tim. I'm like uncle Tim because cousin implies we're equals. But you already know when you're five, I'm grown up and eating every Thanksgiving with you. But then all of a sudden I can't and I got to go away and get injected because I notice people taping me behind my back in your family and my family because it's the same family, stupid. <laughs>